Tell what? Slim boy, bye. Tell him what? I don't know this one. <laughs> Everybody, what's up? It's your guy Z Fly. Hey, we're having a good time at the runway, the real way. Hey. hey. What's up, everybody? It's still you guys, Z Fly, still here at the runway, the real way. Now, this next designer, Tyrone Marquis, I think I might have let it, he should have designed something for me because I feel very out of place right now. They're looking all just just GQ. I'm looking like, you know. How you doing, Tyrone? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing today? Doing very well. Now, is this your first time at a runway, the real way? Yes, this is my first time at runway, the real way. Well, I can't tell because the way your models came out, it's still like you just, you just been runway in the real way and since she started. How? I've, I've been, this isn't my first fashion show, of course, but working with Catherine, this is my first time. But I've been working in the clothing industry since I was eight years old. Yeah. Now, since she's, wait, you said eight years old? Eight years old. Yeah, my grandfather was a tailor. He used to make James Brown's clothes. Why? No. You're telling the truth. All right, now, I know that everybody is looking at these unique ensembles. Please tell us what what is going on with this ensemble. <laughs> Well, I mean, my models right now, they're wearing, um, with the exception of Asia right now, she's wearing a piece from my new collection called Marquise's Closet. But what everyone else is wearing, that's samples from Keys to the Kingdom, what I just debuted at Brooklyn Fashion Week, which is my new spring 2017 collection. Now, where does the idea come for your, uh, your design? Well, it definitely was inspired by this show called Game of Thrones. I wanted to embody the whole um, sense of having like a false reality, so it's not real. So I took the whole idea of having a season go over for years. So if you ever watch Game of Thrones, for example, for example, with winter, winter can last for about four years. So this way, I wanted to take spring and last it throughout the year. So it's based it around separates. You don't see what you would ideally see for spring. You don't see like you know that spring color palette yellows peaches pinks i went a little more dull i wanted to do more muted colors something i wasn't expected i didn't want it to be expected at all like i wanted people to ask me what it is i didn't want you to get it from like you know from seeing it for, yeah so now now where do you have to be at? you know like, like some designers you know they have to be in a loud space you know where do you have to be at whenever you start designing a quiet well i like to i do a lot of stuff by myself, um, when I'm in my shop, I tend to be um, by myself a lot, or I'm either with my assistant, my design assistant, um, tailor made, or I'm either with my manager. But um, I keep my my, my, my team close. Um, we've been, the majority of my team, for example, even Asia here, she's been with us since the beginning. So all five years, she's been with us. So I, t I keep my team real close knit. It keeps the bond stronger, it keeps growth, more you know possible quicker and like we evolve as a family together like you know i'm a young designer myself i'm only 25 so i'm still learning but you know as as a whole i feel like we are definitely like a family tight-knit unit
male um, ensemble. Because, you know, a lot of times, you know, males, you know, they they they're crazy. But, you yeah. know, but they, these, these outfits are hot. So talk about some of them. I mean, I mean, different. And, you know, and if we can see what my boy Kareem has on, like I said, I have the boys in kilts. And, I mean, I wanted to really, like, you know, shift the paradigm. I, I started designing because I didn't like what everyone else liked, you know, like, it's, you, you, you walk into a, a suit store, for, in, for instance, you always see matching ties, you know? So I like to do different stuff, capes, asymmetrical. So I thought the kilts was gonna be a good, you know, addition. And this asymmetrical, he has chiffon on. What guy wears chiffon normally? So, you know, and he's definitely rocking it. You know, and even him, this is a crop leather jacket. You know, it's not the length that you would normally see. So we're def we always take risks. Or we, we set trends, we don't follow them. Well, I'm sold, I'm pretty sure y'all are too. Let everybody know where can we find you and what's up and coming for you? Um, TyranMarquisLLC.com, T-Y-R-A-N-M-A-R-Q-U-I-S-L-L-C.com. Why not take all of me? deserve you know <laughs> one of these days they're gonna find out about all the mischief I've been getting up to you know I know and I'll get my comeuppance I just hope no one's within arm's distance when that happens you I know? Hope so, too. <laughs> so today you um, definitely had a what is it called the little um your instrument oh it's it's a ukulele and I take it with me everywhere because you never know when you're gonna need to whip out your tiny instrument and pleasure the masses you know just, just whip it out yeah so I never leave home without an ava availability of whipping out my tiny instrument it's true <laughs> Now, when do you start playing the ukulele? I taught myself to play ukulele about two and a half years ago. Um, I had had, I had, had uh, uh, this person that I was very much in love with, and I couldn't tell them that, you know, because I'm an adult. And so I would learn songs, and I would send them voicemails of different songs that I had taught myself on ukulele, of whatever it was I was feeling. And then I started going out to open mics, and when I moved to the city, I started going to open mics, and I, I've started developing a band now. Um, but it all started with four strings and a little bit of wood, you know? <laughs> so how does the ukulele differ from, like, I guess, a violin? Um, well, you actually tune a ukulele the same way as a violin. But a violin, you would play it with a bow. Well, a ukulele, you would just play it using your fingers. Uh, so you want to think Tiny Tim or Is. Oh, Is did the, you know, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Yeah. And so you want to think of Is would be the way it's doing it. It's like a little baby guitar is the way to think of it. Love it. Now, you have a, a unique style going on. What is this going with the fascinator on, on your hat? Well, you know, I came in with just the one hat. But today, they were doing a steampunk thing, uh, theme. And so they decided to put a second hat. It's a little, can you, do you get this in the camera? It's a little tiny hat on top of my first hat. So now I'm the fanciest man in the room. Oh, wait, uh, next to me, you mean? Well, I mean, you do have this lovely gold microphone. Absolutely. Do you take this with you everywhere? I do. Oh, my. Is this one of the ways that you let people know that you have tons of cash? Pretty much. Oh, my. We should talk more about that later, you know. <laughs> She just did her thing on the runway. How you feeling? How you, how you, how you feeling? I'm feeling. 
feeling fabulous. I mean, my girl's looking fabulous, and you're fabulous. Oh, I'm fabulous. I'm fabulous. <laughs> Hello. Okay, now look. Now tell us. Now, what did we just see on Runway to Railway? What you just saw was 30-something years in the making. Um, you saw a denim, vintage denim collection that has been started when I was like 14 years old, and it's been going on and on and on. I mean, I've always had a love and fetish of denim. So I said, you know what, why not make it into a collection? This is all recycled denim, so it's very cost effective, but it's very trendy, it's edgy, it is fabulous, and it's gonna keep going on and on and on and on. Okay, you just never stop, do you? Never. <laughs> now, you know, now, now I know like some designers, you know, like they name their pieces. Like, I see some great different pieces. Like, like do any of these have names or anything? Oh, absolutely. This is called the Selena right here because Selena Johnson, the wonderful R&B diva, she shot in this piece right here. So I call this the Selena. So you have to be fabulous in order to wear this one. And Makiba is fabulous. Okay. So what's this over here? <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, that's the kimono. Yes. Yeah, sisters wear kimonos as well, all oh, right? Do. Yeah, it's a kimono when you're snatched, but if you're a big girl, it's a wrap dress. <laughs> <laughs> How about the one on the end? Oh, you know, I don't have a name for that one, but let me tell you something. She rocked it. She rocked it. I'm telling you, yes, girl. You know what? I might let you name it. You know, I'm, I'm going to call it the, uh, the, the Fly Z. Ooh, yeah, okay. <laughs> the Fly Z, you heard it. Everybody. <laughs> now look, now you know Miss Captain Shula, she's always pulling something. What were your thoughts on this theme, the cosplay theme today? You know, she never ceases to amaze me, ever, ever, ever. And I'm always going to have love for her because she introduced me to my husband, the love of my life. Okay, but this right here, this is something that I was just happy that I was able to pull out a collection to fit this theme here, you know? And to be honest, I got a collection to fit everything, but you know, but this right here was special because we were able to edge up the girls even more and have fun with it. So fashion should be fun as well. Is she a fabulous, wonderful, fantastic designer, but you a young married woman, ain't she? Married now. I'm my eyes married, eyes married to a hot model. <laughs> and I actually, that's right. And I met him at Catherine Schuler's first, um, her, her show, Runway the Real Way, at Yotel Hotel. I met him there. So I'm always going to have love for this woman. Love it. Now, what's up and coming for Miss Jewel Couture? Oh, yeah. So I'm actually producing my second show featuring my collections only. It's called Jewel Couture Presents Dauntless. It is a fashion story about me from when I was a teenager up until now. I mean, it covers everything I've ever been through from childhood, um, I mean, from wild crazy, my little drinking years, from times when I wanted to kill somebody, depression. I mean, everything that got me to where I am right now, this is what this show is about. So it's some, there's some collections where I'm, I mean, the audience was in tears the last show because it was real. It was, it was so real. So I wanted to inflict some emotions, but dauntless means fearless, living fearless. So at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, what would you do if you didn't allow fear to get in your way? I don't allow fear to get in my way, so that's why I'm here. I love it. Everybody, this is your girl, Jewel Couture. What's the, what's the, what's the uh, government name? Rhonda Ofem. Ofem. That's right, yes. Y'all definitely keep it locked. She has so much amazing um, things coming up in her life. Let everybody know where they can find you. You can find me on, um, well, my website is www.jewelcouture. That's J-U-U-L, couture.com. I'm also on Facebook under Jewel Couture. And under Instagram, I am Jewel Couture. Right. And it's J-U-U-L Couture. Right. Not jewelry, jewel. Okay. Right, right. I'm your guy, Z Fly. Y'all keep it locked. So much more to come.
All right, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Fashion week or fashion, you know, you think about females, we got some males in there too. Without the males, what are, you know what I'm saying? It's not really fashion. How you doing, Mr. Gio? I'm doing amazing. I love the energy. Shout out to the videographer. Shout out to the interviewer. Right. Love being here. Now look, now he's not just anybody. Now. I, mean, I mean, yes, you know, he got a nice ensemble on, but he's actually, what is it, Mr. New York Fashion? I'm, now, I'm bad at titles, so you just say the title. I mean, I keep it simple. Male model of the year. Oh, okay. Oh, male model of the year. Now, what have you done to deserve that title? Just working hard, being consistent, because consistency is key. Being persistent, consistent, focused, and just basically uh, being on your grind every day, because there's a lot of competition out there. Why do I deserve to be uh, the male model of the year, or be somebody over the next person. I work hard. Now, now one of you say work hard because, see, you know, there's a lot of people in this fashion game, you know, so I'm trying to be where you are. What what challenges have you, you know, maybe come across? Um, I've come across many challenges. You know, besides modeling, I also do boxing, I do acting, uh, but that's another story. Uh, I have muscles, I'm muscular, I have tattoos, keep my head shaved for a different movie role, and, uh, uh, some male designers might not agree with that. You know, they like uh, skinny guys, uh, more petite. But it's all good because, as you can tell, you know, to fit this, you have to be petite. You have to be, uh, you have to have a certain look. And uh, as you can see, I rock it pretty well. Okay, now who are you wearing right now? I am wearing uh, a Quantum Style by Diego. Okay. Now, this is kind of a, a, a very different look for a male. I mean, so do you feel exposed? How are you feeling right now? <laughs> I feel like uh, an Asian figure, you know, something martial arts, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. like I'm about to do some kung fu, you know, but we here on the runway, and I, I, I'm blessed. Right. Just don't fight me, okay? All right, so look, so, so what is, um, what, what kind of um, advice do you have for a male model trying to be where you are right now? First and foremost, I want to say, oh, glory be to God, because God wouldn't be here. And uh, the advice I would like to give other male models is do your homework, do your research before you get into this profession. Because it might look good. It might look good once you're on the red carpet, taking pictures, magazines. But there's a lot of hard work behind closed doors. There's a lot of hustle, a lot of obstacles, a lot of ups and downs. And this business is not for everybody because a lot of times you get rejected. You get turned away. But just keep going at it and understand if it's something that you want to do. Because if it's not, move forward. There's other things you can do. It's your boy Z Fly. Oh, I'm sorry. It's your guy Z Fly. And I'm with some very important people right now at the runway, the runway. We are here at the Novo Hotel, and we just had a great, great fashion show. And thanks, thanks to Diego here, the one of the designers. He, he the one that really made it great. And right here, I have Miss Leslie Flores. She's, she is the New York Fashion Week Model of the Year, 2016. And she better say that year. How are y'all doing right now? How are you doing, first of all? Well, I'm doing fabulous. I have to say that this cut. And this piece is so fabulous. It's not heavy, it's not tight. It is so well made. I'm in love with it. Okay. Now we're definitely gonna talk about you and your model of the year. Right now, Diego, how are you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm good. I'm just taking it all in and I'm enjoying it, showing my collection, you know. I make clothes for everyone, every size. Everyone's supposed to look good, in my opinion. Now, is this your first time at a Runway the Real Way? Yeah, this is my first time showing a Runway the Real Way. Yeah, this is like a sequence. Now, is sequence like your major thing to work with, or? No, I work with a bunch of different kind of fabrications. I mean, I like texture, cut, layering. If it's pretty, I work with it. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, how was it with the cos with the cosplay thing? Like, like, do you have to do anything specific, or? Well, no, because some of my stuff, I guess, is a little on the steampunk side. They just figured that I sort of fit the theme, so I guess it worked out. Yeah. And when do you start designing? I've been designing my whole life. Like, I've been designing since I was seven. Like, I'm the son of a master tailor. My aunt's a dressmaker. I've been sewing forever, so. Since seven, so you're only like 23, right? Thank you, yeah. Thank you.
am Miss Leslie Model of the Year. Now, how do you get this title? What have you done to deserve that title? Well, I was nominated, and I had to do a model competition. And I won that in September during New York Fashion Week. And so I was Miss Crown, Miss Ultra, which means plus size and fit, but under 5'10". So I'm physically fit, but I'm plus size. I'm that size between 8 and 14. Now, now, uh, have you ran into any type of challenges, you know, just doing these different shows to get this title? Yes, um, not with the title, but I've run in some of the challenges are is that because I am plus size during, because of the garment and the measurement uh, size and manufacturing size, but most designers that start full figure start at size 16. So when I go to a casting and a producer puts me in a show and puts me in the plus size category, which I truly am, they need to identify and tell the designers of their shows that they have an, either an extra small plus size or tell their straight designers that they have a medium large. That's really good. Now we, now, we can all say that you're beautiful. We can all say that you have great style. But now, what does the, the title mean to you, though? I want to use it as a platform to show that I am the average size woman. I'm five foot six. I'm a size 10, 12. I'm a medium large. I'm the average woman. I'm rocking it real hot and fresh, hot in the midst with um, Fashion Week Model of the New Year. York Fashion Week New York Fashion Week. New York. Okay, and you can follow me on Instagram at LatinLady17404. You better be saucy, Miss Latin Lady. <laughs> I'm your guy, Z Fly. Keep it locked. So much more to come. I said it's time and time again. I'm surrounded by a lot of people, but he's my only and true friend. I believe in him more than I believe in myself. He never let me down. He blessed me with a smile, took away the frown. I'm not religious, I'm just very spiritual. With God in my life, I'm a stronger individual. But sometimes, I need to come down and heal these broken wings. Please take away the negativity in this world and replace it with positive things. Jesus Christ, and open the skies above. There's a lot of kids are dying from disease, hunger. I know you're not gonna let them starve. You held my back numerous times, from the street to the church. You healed me numerous times when I got hurt. I don't know what's doing say the right things, because I feel the devil is around me. But he'll never get me, because God got me. And through negative people, I feel the devil trying to fight me. But I will continue to win and break their jaw, because God is in me. And with God, I'm mighty. I think your next, your next Jekyll of trait is a rapper. I love it. Everybody, this is your male model right here, Mr. Gio. I'm your guy, Z-Fly. Definitely keep it locked. We got so much more to come. Go nowhere. <laughs>